hello guys welcome to my channel this is the pandit and you are watching MEP technical world in this video you will learn about basically how to calculate the bus bar size okay so before we start the session I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so basically what is bus bar okay so a bus bar is a metallic strip or bar typically housed in switch gear and panel boards for high power distribution so basically it is due to the high current power okay so a metallics it means uh, there are two types of you can say metal used uh, to make the bus bar one is copper and another is aluminium so these are the two materials huh? okay now as you can see over here this is the panel okay electrical panel where you can see inside it we have a copper bus bar okay so these are the bus bar similarly over here so this is for three phase power distribution system so uh, here we uh, you can see R, Y, N, B, and this is for neutral. So these are the bus bar, where uh, above it insulation. Nowadays, uh, in a high rise building, uh, bus bar riser system, okay, to distribute the or to feed the power to floor panels. Okay, we have a uh, floor panels on each floor of the building to feed the sub dbs okay in previous what actually we do we pull the cable from main lt panel to individual floor smdb panel okay now we can use bus bar riser system instead of that cable okay so this is the bus bar riser system this is the cover we can say bus bar ducting and inside it we have a bus bar okay here you can see two bus bar risers so one is working and one is standby okay in case of one failure another will give the backup suppose here in each floor panel we have a ATS so this ATS have a two inputs from two separate bus bar risers and here tap a box so it is used to take a power from bus bar riser and it is fed to the floor panel so generally it is used mccb type tap a box okay so here another picture we have a bus bar riser system so this is the bus bar riser system and this is the tap up box mccb tap up box here we have a r y b and one is neutral okay you can take power from here to floor panel okay now come to calculation part so basically how to calculate the bus bar size so to calculate the uh, bus bar size we have to know about the connected load on the bus bar okay so first we have to calculate the connected load which we are going to connect on bus bar so according to that then we will then we can decide the bus bar size so here i have taken a building layout okay seven story ground floor we have a 20 kilowatt and 25 kilowatt for first floor second floor 20 third 20 and fourth 20 and fifth 20 and sixth 20 and seven 20 okay bus bar riser will be installed like this there are four bus bar three one would be r y b and one would be neutral okay so in this way we can arrange so this is the bus bar riser and in each floor we have a mccb or you can say tap up box 
where this can feed the power to float panel okay now first let's calculate the load connected load now to calculate the uh, connected load on bus bar let's sum all of this load float loads okay so if we add this all float load it become 165 okay now we have calculated the connected load now according to that we have to uh, calculate the load current okay so on this basis now we are going to calculate the bus bar size so now to calculate the current as you know that this is the three phase power formula so p equal to square root 3 v is phase voltage i is current and cos phi so here we are going to calculate the current that's why p uh, divided by square root 3 v and cos phi is power factor so let's put the value so here we have uh, the value which is 165 is in kilowatt now to multiply with thousand to convert it into watt okay and this is the square root 3 value 1.732 this is the phase voltage okay three phase voltage and this is the 0 0.8 now to calculate all this value it become 286 ampere so this is the load current which will be on this bus bar now according to this load current we have to calculate the bus bar size okay now this is the thumb rule for aluminium bus bar and copper bus bar okay so one square mm of aluminium bus bar can withstand 0 0.8 ampere okay similarly for uh, copper bus bar one square mm of copper bus bar can withstand 1.6 ampere okay so here we are going to calculate the bus bar copper size okay according to above calculated load, load current so here one square m copper bus bar can withstand 1.6 ampere okay so our load current is 286 ampere now one square mm uh, copper bus bar carry 1.6 ampere okay now for one ampere how much would be copper size copper bus bar size so for one ampere one divided by 1.6 this much is the size which would be carry one ampere current okay 0 0.625 square mm copper bus bar will carry one one ampere current now similarly as per our load current so how much square mm size will be required for copper bus bar now it become 178.75 square mm so this is the square mm of copper bus bar which will carry this much of current okay now as you know that our copper bus bar always found in width and thickness thickness size like 10 by 10 10 by 3 10 by 6 so it means 10 is the width and 6 is the thickness okay so basically this way we can find the market okay so now here we have a boss bar strip size which is available in the market so this is the way 10 by 3 10 by 6 10 by 10 in this way up to 200 by 10 okay so actually we have a thickness which having 10 or 15 mm maximum okay so here we are assuming our bus bar size is our bus bar thickness is 10 mm okay now so our calculated area is 178.75 let's divide it by our thickness of the copper which is we assume 10 okay so now let's divide it by 10 so it become 17.8 so accordingly we can go the width width of the so this is the actual width of the 
bus bar so let's go to this chart so here we have a 15 so this is more than 15 so we can go to upper value so here we have a 25 width so this is the 25 by 10 so finally we selected 25 by 10 copper strip size for this building bus bar riser system so it's now its bus bar would be 25 by 10 mm size okay similarly you can calculate for aluminium bus bar as well okay as it is carry 0 0.6 ampere okay now talk to a spacing between copper strip or aluminium strip so generally for between phase bus bar and earth bus bar we have to keep the minimum space be minimum space between them 26 mm okay same for face to face bus bar face to face bus bar we have to keep the minimum space between them 32 mm okay similarly if we are going to install the bus bar and bus bar ducting so we have to isolate the bus bar from the body of the bus bar ducting so it will not uh, sort it with this body so this will protect from insulator so so between two insulator when we are installing the bus bar we have to keep the minimum distance between them 25 mm okay so th these are the things which we have to uh, take care about during the installation okay of the bus bar in similar way we can this is for bus bar riser system so in similar way we can calculate the bus bar size for uh, dv or panel also so suppose this is the dv and this is the main mccb where we have a three main bus bar okay and from here we have a, another sub distribution mcb so here we have also fit the bus bar so this bus bar we can also calculate according to the load which we, which uh, will be con connected on this db so first we will ca uh, calculate the db load and according to that we have to calculate the current and based on the load current we have to calculate the copper bus bar size or aluminium bus bar size so in this way you can select the bus bar size or calculate the bus bar size so hope you guys understand about basically how to calculate the cup, uh, bus bar sizing so thank you for watching this video so please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video